Okay, hello, it's 3 p.m. on September 14th, 2020. Welcome to this weather update and what you are looking at here is an unbelievable mess uh, going on right here. Uh, all right, where do we get We have numerous features going on here. All right, here's Paulette. Here's Sally. And this is all the smoke uh, that looks like it is affecting our area today. The sky is very, very hazy out there. And I don't know if we're going to get rid of this smoke tomorrow. I don't know if the jet stream is going to be diving down low enough for us to get rid of it. And this is all from the wildfires out west. So we have three features here. We'll draw them out for you here. And this isn't even, we're not even done yet with everything. But get started here with this. Three features. We'll put them all in red for you. All right, so you have Paulette. Hurricane Sally. Yes, Sally is now a hurricane. You have the smoke. <laughs> We're not even done yet. All right. And the smoke basically is getting caught up in the jet stream. You can see it got kind of caught up in the jet stream and got dumped into our area. All right. Oh, I don't know what just happened there. I think it just crashed. Oh well. So. Look at all these features here. I mean, this is incredible. All right, so we're going to first go to the Hurricane Center right now and look at the latest because we now have four. Actually, no, we have five named named storms, if you include Renee, or four actual tropical systems, tropical storms, and two hurricanes going at the same time. Uh, <laughs> this is insanity. All right. We'll first get started with Paulette. Now, it's, Paulette's moving away. She did lash Bermuda pretty good. Um, so let's go to the latest public advisory for Paulette. It's located about 33.9 north, 64.4 west, about 115 miles north of Bermuda. Maximum stay winds have increased to 105 miles an hour. It's moving north northeast to 13 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure 965 millibars or 28.50 inches. Uh, they're still under a tropical storm warning, uh, but it is moving away. Uh, maximum stain winds have all right, so hurricane force winds extend outward up to 45 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 175 miles from the center. The estimated minimum central pressure is 965 millibars or 28.50 inches. So it's moving away. Um, I'm not even going to go look at the map of that because that's just going to be staying out in the ocean. It will become a major hurricane. The more immediate threat is Hurricane Sally. Wow, this thing has really strengthened. Uh, and um, uh, we're going to look at the public advisory for Hurricane Sally. It, it, it really became a hurricane quickly, like literally overnight, uh, because it's over that really warm water. So Sally is me meandering over the north central Gulf of Mexico, and it's expected to resume a slow west northwest motion. So it sounds like it's stalled out. So as of 1 p.m., it's located at 28.7 north, 87.1 west, about 125 miles east southeast of the mouth of the Mississippi River, or about 165 miles southeast of Biloxi, Mississippi. Maximum stain winds are 90 miles an hour. It's moving west northwest at 7 miles an hour, so it's still moving. A uh, minimum central pressure is 986 millibars or 29.12 inches, uh, and maximum stain winds. The hurricane force winds extend outward up to 25 miles to the center, and the tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 125 miles from the center. Uh, so uh, let's go to the map here, uh, and you'll see here. This, this thing is really exploding. This could become a major hurricane. Uh, you know, we saw this with Michael, uh, and uh, we saw this with Laura too. We see this a lot lately because of the warmer, warmer than normal waters. So. Here is uh, the track, and again, it looks like New Orleans is going to get, looks like it might go just to the east of New Orleans, uh, but this is going to be devastating because it's going to be a slow-moving storm, um, and it's already at 90 miles an hour, it's already, this thing's going to become a Category 3, easy, easy, uh, because it's that warm, warm water that, that causes these things just to explode, and we're, we're seeing this uh, very often, and uh, 
let's go to the uh, satellite images here. We'll first look at Paulette. Um, the site might wind up being very slow, actually. We'll see what happens here. I might have to use the other site. Looks like it's stuck at 10%. It might not load. Alright, you know what? We're going to have to use the other site. Okay, so... Um, Let's go take a look at our systems. So we'll first start with Paulette, I guess. I, mean, I like using it because they have good floaters. I don't know why this is not working. Yeah, it seems to be missing. Well, let's see if we can get Sally. This is the more important storm right now. Or this one seems to be loading. Okay. So, look at that. It's already getting ready to impact. It looks like, it looks like, at least on this satellite, that it might, New Orleans might be spared and it might be going further east. More toward like Alabama, the Florida Panhandle. But look at this thing. It's just blowing up like you wouldn't believe. I mean, this is crazy how it's just blowing up. It does seem to be moving a little faster though than we thought. We thought it would be making a landfall sometime in the evening, uh, but uh, it's more, it looks like, we're going to look at some of these observations here in a minute, all right, oh, we're not done yet, we're not done yet, no, i got to go back to the Hurricane Center, because we have two other systems to talk about, Teddy and Vicky, <laughs> all right, where do we get started, all right, Teddy, let's go with Teddy, Teddy is going to become a major hurricane. And uh, it's it looks like it's tracking to the northwest, right? It looks like it will track the northwest. Uh, Max sustained winds near 40 miles an hour. It's moving to the west at 14 miles an hour. Um, it's located at 12.8 north, 42.8. I'm sorry. Let, let me go to the actual actual advisory on it uh, for Teddy. So Teddy poised to strengthen as it moves across the tropical Atlantic. Location 12.8 north, 42.8 west, about 1,250 miles east of the Lesser Antilles, about 1,705 miles west of the Cabo Verde Islands. Max sustained winds in your 40 miles an hour, moving west at 14 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure 1,004 millibars to 9.64 inches. Tropical storm force winds extend out up to 60 miles from the center. Alright, so that's the Track of Teddy. Now we gotta go with Vicky. Right, this is unbelievable. Here's Tropical Storm Vicky. Uh, all right, Vicky is not forecast to become anything too intense. Um, so it's like you always have a pair, you know. You notice that they have a stronger and then a weaker, just like Paulette and Renee. Paulette was the stronger, Renee was the weaker. Um, and then you have another disturbance. So this is insane. This is just insane. All right. Um, go to the public advisory for Vicky here. Oh, I don't think they have any actual advisory written yet. Uh, but uh, right now it's low. It's, it's low. Yeah, I think we just read it. 18.7 north, 28.5 west. Max sustain went 45 miles an hour. Moving northwest at 6. So, yeah, it's it's just unbelievable what's going on in the tropics right now. Uh, and, and again, when you look at this, this satellite image, it just shows just what's happening. Uh, it's insanity. It's just insanity. I've never seen this before. Uh, and, and you throw in the smoke, too. It's, it's unbelievable. I'm going to show you what the skies look like later. Um, let's uh, go to... All right. I want to do the whole Atlantic. Tropical Atlantic, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. One, two. There's Renee. So this is uh, Vicky. This is Teddy. This is Paulette. That's Renee. And that's Sally. How's that for crazy? Uh, uh, and the, we've had the, we had the record is the most ever named storms at one time is five. So uh, we could break that record this year having more, you know, if, if things time out and Renee ex continues to exist. Um, we could go for a sixth name storm, and that would break the all-time record for the most amount of storms at once uh, that we have going here. Uh, this is insane, though. This is truly insane. 
Um, so let me look at a few more things here. As regards to Sally here, we're going to go back to Sally, and uh, I want to change this to the visible. Still would like that Paulette loop to load, but uh, look at that. So it looks like it's really getting ready to hit the Gulf tonight. Oh yeah, you can see you can see in this one you can see its westward movement more. It's just uh, yeah, you can see you can see it. It doesn't have it does not have an eye yet, but it's, it could form one. Uh, like I said, it's over those warm waters, and that's all it needs to strengthen, and that's exactly what it's doing. Um, let me see if we can get Paulette to to load again. Yeah, I don't know. The IR, it seems like Paulette has an issue. Let me Paulette to load now. Strengthening, you can tell it's strengthening. There's the convection. I'm going to change this to the visible high res. So you can get to see the eye. There's Bermuda. We just got to wait for it to load here. At least the site's loading, yeah, loading decently fast. There you go. It looks like it's stuck at 80. Uh, but you can sort of see uh, some kind of issue with the satellite feed. But uh, you can see the eye. You can see there's Bermuda. It, 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 the eye went right over Bermuda. Uh, and, uh, it's moving away now. Luckily, that storm ain't going to bother anyone. Uh, hopefully. All right. Let's go see. To, let's say hello to Teddy. too organized yet, but it's going to get organized. You see how fast these storms just pop up. It's just incredible. There's what Teddy looks like. I can't wait for the whole thing to load. I'll be here all day. Look, It looks like it was loading fast. All right, here, here we go. It's almost there. 93%. There we go. So you can see decent convection there going on. Uh, and this is going to definitely be strengthening. Uh, this ain't no teddy bear. Uh, <laughs> let's let's go to Vicky. Vicky don't look too impressive. Vicky looks very disorganized. Yeah, very disorganized. circulation here. Uh, you can definitely see it, but again, it looks it looks pretty disorganized. Okay, now we're not done yet. Nope. Nope, we're not done yet, because now we got to look at the weather and hazards map. Okay. Focusing on Hurricane Sally. You can see that's where the hurricane warnings are issued. Let's get some observations from this area. Winds are already gusting offshore. Some of these, wow, look at that. There's a 73 mile an hour gust at this uh, oil rig right here. So you can see, definitely got a hurricane out here. Uh, it's definitely a hurricane. Uh, and getting some pretty decent gusts along the coast now. Gusts of 30 and 40, so definitely getting some decent gales. Uh, it's only going to deteriorate as the afternoon and the evening wear on. So that, I guess we go to the models, and we're just going to be looking at the tropical situation, and we'll be done, I'll be doing another weather update on our weather later, alright, because <laughs> there's just too much going on, if we're one weather update, there's too much going on, <laughs> it's that simple, so let's take a look at Sally, alright, here's Sally on the GFS, and you can see it tightens up, Oh, it makes, looks like it makes it almost nearly direct hit on New Orleans. Um, and then turns north. Look at that. That thing really just bobs out. And it makes that landfall sometime Tuesday morning. It actually makes it on Tuesday now. So it's slowing it down even more. I wish we could get a little closer. 
but this is as close, I think, as we can get. Um, actually, no, I think there is this one here. I think you can use the Hurricane models here. Yeah, this will get us a little closer. Alright, this actually follows the storm. So you get to see here, this is the GFS. And this is the one I'm going to, you know, go with. I think it's the most accurate. Uh, and you can see it just strengthens it there. So, 971 millibars. Um, let's see, we can get the winds here. These winds have got to be absolutely insane. Winds don't look too terrible on this, actually. But I think this is underestimating it. It's got to be way more than that. It's got to be way more than that. Let me look at some of the other models. Now that we're in hurricane view, I think it stays there. No, it doesn't. And the models have been underestimated. That's why I'm not looking at the models, because the models underestimated. That, that storm is already too weak. What's the point of even looking at the models? They're not, they can't even keep up. So, um, with that, that's going to wrap up this update on the tropical systems. I'll have a more detailed update later. It's just too much going on for the models to even handle at this point. Um, you can look at windy.com. Maybe I'll use this site instead. And, uh, see, this, this is the maximum staying winds at 90 miles an hour not even showing it at 90 miles an hour. This is the Euro. Let's see. No, it's not even showing it that. I'm, I'm telling you, the models can't keep up. It's unbelievable. So I, I why even bother looking at them? We're just going to have to look, uh, see how things go and uh, sort of what you call now cast it because it, it, this thing is going to continue to strengthen. There's no point in even looking at the models because it's just going to continue to strengthen um, and get worse. And uh, we'll go to the Gulf of Mexico here, and we'll, uh, I guess we'll leave it at this for now. So, there you go. Uh, there's Sally, and uh, it's a 90 mile an hour hurricane. It's going to become a Category 3. And the models, it's scary. The models are literally so overloaded that they can't even, uh, you know, I don't think I can ever remember this. So, we're just going to have to watch, wait, and pray. And that's going to wrap up this weather update. Take care.